Hi everybody, welcome back to Tannenberg, a new, well, a new to console, a new to Xbox and PlayStation first person shooter based in the First World War on the Eastern Front, sort of Russia versus Germany and Austria. Um, came out yesterday on the 24th of the 7th, 2020. Been out, on, been out on PC for a while, a sequel to The Dun, which I played many years ago, again on PlayStation, which was kind of very clunky, but it looks like, from what I played this morning in that video, quite a lot more, um, quite, quite a lot more smooth than, than The Dun, but I understand that The Dun has had a remaster and an update, so I will be playing that as well. Now remember, this is a budget title, um, but I did learn a couple of things as well. That I've done in the fact that I've gone into the graphics and I've unlocked the frame rate. I've turned the gore up to high. <laughs> um, and also, what you can do is you can create a custom match. Uh, Maneuver is Tannenberg's version of Conquest, like Battlefield. And what we'll do is we'll play under moonlit conditions. We'll play with friends, but what you can do, you can turn the bot count up to 20, so you'll have 10 bots on either side. We'll turn the bots down to easy. <laughs> we won't mess with anything else, and then we'll start again. So this is going to be me learning the map um, with 10 friendly bots on my side and 10 enemy bots on the other. They're going to be easy, so they shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Now, what is a challenge of this game is that when you see the graphics, you think, ah, this looks a little... little little Xbox 360, little PlayStation 3 rather than this gen, let alone the next gen which is coming up. But what you have to remember, this is a budget title, it's £15 in the UK, $20 probably in the, in the rest of the world, made with a small team who've done a lot of work to make things like the uniforms and the weapons historically accurate and based, you know, how the battlefields look on, on history as well. And it's, it's, it's an interesting uh, little... Um, little uh, game um, that can kind of scratch that tactical itch a little bit and of course it can't compete with Call of Duty or Hell Let Loose or Battlefield or anything like that in terms of looks you know but it doesn't mean you can't have a lot of fun playing it so we're spawning over on the left hand side of the map and we can choose um, where we want to kind of spawn so we'll spawn there and when you spawn in, when you start off as a... I'm an officer at the moment, I think. So I've got my cutlass, my rifle, and my field glasses. And I can issue orders as well. So I can say... Take... Take their trench! Ooh. So let's push on. We're playing as the Cossacks. Well, I think this game looks uh, very nice. So as I say, this is this is manoeuvre, um, or uh, basically conquest. Oh. So we've got that one. So let's uh, let's push on. Have we got it yet? And here we have a lovely machine gun that we can. That way, right? Okay, let's uh, let's push on. Well, I'll personally, I know I'll be using this this method of playing with bots to to learn the maps and also to learn the weapons because there's who's shouting? <laughs> because I know um, with no aim assist, right? We should be coming up on the enemy now. Here we go. Should get a cheeky flank on. Can we sneak in the trench behind him? Well, I personally think this doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Especially under this moonlit conditions. 
Ooh, got enemies coming in. Where are they? Ooh. Ooh, just get out of here. Taking some heavy fire. See if we get another flank on. Я тебя гад, сапариш! Вернись немедленно! Run out of the map. Welcome. Oh, grenade. Let's get in this trench. Oh, finally killed. Right. So, what we'll do now, I'll show you. You can go into your squad and we can change our role. So, we'll be an ordinary sort of infantry infantryman now. Right, so we will spawn spawn over here again and push this way. Oh, I'm friendly. So what have I got? I've got my <laughs> We have a cutlass. Ooh. Ooh, we've got a few enemies here, we've got to be careful. I don't think I've got a grenade, no, I've got a grenade. Germans, I guess I'm gonna fight the Germans. Oh, hit my own team there. Push up. Is it friendly? Seeing if a major offensive by the enemy here. Maybe some fall back a bit. Here comes some more. Yes, she can be prepassing in Nashi. Fall back, there's too many of them. Grenades are coming in. Okay, so push up this way. Uh, 
Where am I? All right, yeah, we're, we're deep in enemy territory now. Now, from what I remember from the original version of the Dunn on the PlayStation, it was really hard to figure out which way you were meant to be going. And I remember I kept running off and getting shot for being a traitor. But I'm really excited for the fact that they've um, remastered that. Maybe it's got this sort of gameplay as well. Here we go. Right, so we're in the enemy trench now. wonder if they're going to come this way. So they are going to be coming from this direction. That's where they're going to be spawning from. Let's fire the machine gun. Suppressive fire. Okay, we've got that one. Okay, so let's push on over here. Dead bodies. Right. We need to withdraw. We're taking fire from our right flank. Oh, just chuck down there as well. Should have got my cutlass out and charged him. Ooh, I think our uh, army of bots is doing very, very well. Ooh. It almost has a daisy, daisy feel about it. Eat Cossack steel. Ah. <laughs> I think I think they've had a bit of fun with the uh, sound, haven't they? Okay, so we we're dominating the enemy. And as you use your soldiers, and they they can level up, kind of. I think you get weapons, you get sorry, you get um, medals and things like that. Ooh. Oh, they're friendlies. He's not. Oh, is he? Show him again. Why are we going that way? The enemies are this way. Wait a minute. Oh, he's a friendly. Come on lads, this is the way we want to be going. Or are they capturing this sector? Come on, let's get this. 
No scope. Okay, so this is a tactical shooter. I should be hanging back a little bit more. I said it better myself. No, come on. No. You've got to get that first bullet in place, haven't you? Okay, so I'm going to spawn in here and then we'll push this flank. задницу на позицию! Тащи свою задницу на позицию! Oh Jesus, there's loads of them. That Terminator's coming to get me. Let's get a bit of cover behind this rock. Salt this hill. Who's with me? Sneak behind me. Oh, see, we've almost got it. Now, can we push towards their headquarters? Let's do it. Distracted over there. Oh, gone off the map again. Куда драпает? Вернись сейчас же! Oh, wait, 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 wait. So you can't go into the enemy area. Right. 
That's their spawn area. So you've got to cap right, you've got to capture all the other areas and then you can get along. So there we go. Tannenberg by Moonlight. I thought that looked pretty good, didn't you? I must admit, I did have some good fun there shooting those admittedly very, very easy bots. But anyway, look out for more Tannenberg and probably for done gameplay over the next um, days and weeks. Um, it's just nice to have something different, isn't it? And I really like to support these small developers, you know, who are taking the time to bring these games from... Uh, PC to um, to console and I th this always bodes well I think for games like Hell Let Loose coming to, probably not to this generation but definitely to the next generation of consoles anyway that's enough from me, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon